we're with the Winkle, and today we're making flower pinwheels. Juliet, when we're recording this video today, springtime is happening outside. And what do you love about springtime? Flowers blooming and butterflies. Oh, I love that stuff. What have I told you today? We're making a flower pinwheel garden. So it's like we're planting flowers. Uh-huh. Not really. We're making flowers and they're like pinwheels so they can spin. Yeah. And when you take them outside and it, and the wind blows, they'll actually spin in the wind. Won't that be fun? Uh-huh. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see what's in our box. Flower stickers, circle stickers, three cup, three wooden skewers, three straws, and a ruler. On top of everything in your kit today, you will need a pencil, a pair of scissors, and, and you a, will need a box. Yes, which is great because your Winkle already came in a box. So you can just use that box. If you don't have that box, you can get any other box you have in the house. And then we're ready to get started. Yep. Julia, each white cup will be a pinwheel flower. So we're gonna start with one white cup first, okay? okay? Can you get one white cup out? Good. Get your pencil and your ruler for right now. Very good. Julia, if you put the ruler on this line that starts at that line right there in the cup, we're gonna make a dot at every one inch mark. So every one of these numbers that has the line right there, see that? Uh-huh. That's where we're gonna make the mark. So can you do that with me? Uh-huh. All right, so you're gonna line it up on that line and we're going to measure at the line first. That's our first mark. Then we're gonna measure at the one and then just try and hold that ruler into place. If it gets messed up like this, you can always put it back, line those dots up like that, okay? Now, now do we do a two? Yep, then we're, oh, you're on the centimeters. <gasps> oh. Make sure you're on the inches. See, this says inch right here. Juliet was on the centimeters, and that's gonna be too small of the lines, of the spaces. Okay, so line up the inch right here, Juliet. Look, line sure. that up like that. Good, and then we're gonna mark it at the one. Good, now scoot your thumb down. There you go, and measure at the two inch. Now you can go down here and pinch the three. Dot it right there. Good, now scoot your thumbs down. Is that three still lined up? Yeah. You wanna make sure that three is still lined up. Now you do the four and then make sure the four is still lined up and do the five. Okay, and then the six should be where we started, right? Uh -huh. Just about, yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as those marks are about one inch apart, it's gonna work out great. All right, now Julia, keep your ruler out. Good, so we're gonna measure one and a half inches. So this is one inch there, and half is that long line between the one and the two. Can you find the one and a half inch line? And just do a long mark there so we know where that one and a half inch line is. Good job. So we're going to line this up with our dot that we made, and we're gonna draw a straight line down to that mark right there. See how I have my fingers inside the cup and my thumb is pressing on the ruler like that? That way I can be sure that everything holds still while I draw a line down to the one and a half inch mark. Good. Now this line doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to show us where we're gonna cut, okay? Did you get that, Juliet? Good, all right. So we have our lines marked and we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut those lines. <laughs> if at any time in these Winkle videos we get going too fast, you can always pause the video and then press play when you're caught up. If you need to, us to repeat instructions or you didn't quite understand something, you can always rewind the video and then press play again. All right, so we're just going to cut all the way down to where our lines stop. Good, Juliet, you have all your cuts and now we get to do the pinwheel part. So for the pinwheel part, pay very special attention to how this goes. Okay, so you're gonna take one flap of your cup and you're going to fold it back and kind of bend it to the side like that. Okay, take the next one and you're gonna try and fold it back the same way at the same angle. Yeah, you can't just like bend it straight back, you have to bend it at an angle back. That's like really that. hard. So I bet you didn't know that an Armenian immigrant toy manufacturer named Tigran Seymour is the one that invented the modern version of the pinwheel. Originally, he called it the wind wheel because <laughs> what do you need for the pinwheel to go around? Wind. 
Nice! Good job! That looks great! That is a great wind wheel. Or it could go this way like it's blowing away. <laughs> wow! Juliet, you're going to turn your cup over and try to find the middle point of your cup. Just draw a little dot with your pencil. Very good. And we're going to poke just a tiny hole with our skewer. Not with your pencil, but with your skewer. Oh. Just a tiny hole. I just put my cup down like this so I don't poke my fingers. Good. That's really hard. I know. If this hole right here gets too big, then it's not gonna spin around very well. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put some reinforcement stickers over the hole and see how you can still see where that hole is. I put that sticker down and then I'm gonna poke that hole again and then go to the other side, flip it over and put another reinforcement sticker. Reinforcement just means we're making that hole a little bit stronger so that uh, our skewer stays in there nice and tight. And when you go to poke this hole, put your cup on the on the table before you poke your hole because you don't want to poke your fingers or your hand. Very good. Okay, now you're going to put your skewer all the way through. Wiggle it through. See how my fingers are on either side of the skewer so I don't poke my fingers? Yeah, like that. Okay, so see, you want that hole nice and tight. If that hole gets too big, your pinwheel won't be able to turn. Okay. Okay, so leave that skewer right where it is. Now we get to put the flower on top of our pinwheel. Any flower will do, and you're going to pick a flower for one side, then flip it over, and then make a little sandwich, putting your flower on the other side. That way when it spins, both sides have a flower. So we have one flower pinwheel, and how many more are we gonna make? Um, two more. Two more, because we have two more cups. Are you ready to do it? Uh-huh. For you guys at home, I'm gonna show you how to do the flower pinwheel again. We get to do it two more times, but I'm gonna go a little bit faster this time. If you need those instructions done a little bit slower, just go ahead and rewind the video to review what we just learned. And for this part, we wanna make sure we're bending it back the same way as your original pinwheel. So if you folded it over to the right, like the first one, you wanna fold this one over to the right as well. You're gonna make that hole in the middle with your skewer, little hole. Again, you do not wanna make this hole too big or else your pinwheels will not spin. Cover up the hole with a sticker, poke that hole again, turn it over, cover up this hole, poke it again, send that skewer all the way through, put on your flower again. This time I'm gonna do yellow and green. And orange. Look. Now we're gonna do that one more time, our last time. So Julia, a pinwheel is a simple child's toy made of a wheel of paper or plastic curls attached at its axle to a stick. It is designed to spin when blown upon by a person or by the wind. The angle of the paper allows the wind to travel past it, but as a result makes the pinwheel turn. It causes an equal and opposite reaction, Newton's third law of motion. The power of wind can be helpful and fun, but it can also be harmful or even dangerous. Yay, all our flower pinwheels are done. Those look so awesome. Uh-huh. Yes, okay, so now are you ready to plant them in our garden? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be poking holes in our box with our pencil, but before you do that, you need to remember that these are gonna be rotating. So if they're too close and they touch each other, they won't be able to spin, okay? So you need to plant them probably one in this corner and one up here in front in the middle and then one over here in this corner so that they're not touching each other. Okay? I'm gonna put one right here, one right here, and then one right here. No. Okay, so you're gonna poke a hole in your box with your pencil, but only go as wide as your straw is. So let's see if that's good enough for a straw. That's great. So I didn't poke my pencil all the way through. All right, and then you plant your flower in that straw. Let me plant my flower that's today. That's so good. Yes. 
I love it, okay? Then we're, oh, yay! And then we're gonna poke another hole, and remember, you're not going all the way through with your pencil. You want that to be nice and tight so that your straw just fits in there nice and snug. And snuggly, like a bugly. <laughs> you are my snuggly bugly. You're my snuggly bugly. Aww. Okay, and one more, last one. I'm gonna put it up in this corner over I'm here. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. That's good. It Testing it out. Uh -huh. That's nice and snuggly. Okay, now our flowers have been planted in our garden and they're ready to be taken out to the wind. So if you have a fan in your home, like a ceiling fan, and you put it on high and put the box underneath, these should spin around really nicely. If you have any sort of like oscillating fan or a floor fan of some sort, you could put it in front of the fan. Or, if it's a windy day, you can put it outside and watch these spin in the wind. Should we go try it? Yeah! Okay. video if you did please like and subscribe that way every time we come out with new winkle videos you'll be the first to know also check out down below for freebies and to subscribe to get four stem projects delivered to your door at the winkle.com julia thank you so much for joining me today in this flower pinwheel project do you have so much fun uh-huh yes you were so much fun to have here yeah. and so excited about everything i just love it thanks everybody for joining us bye bye I remember how to do it. Remember? Re remember. There you go. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I, I just look at my first one that I did and then I remember. <laughs> I remember. Remember? I remember. Remember?